So over the weekend, Donald Trump held another one of his little rallies. It was a save America rally, uh, up in the Midwest, trying to campaign for some candidates that are not doing very well, but a very weird thing happened at this particular, uh, rally. And that was that Donald Trump came out and appeared to fully embrace the Q nut jobs. And this did not go unnoticed by anybody in the media, including late night talk show host, Jimmy Kimmel. And Kimmel did what Kimmel does. And he took some pretty good shots, not just at Donald Trump, but he has expanded to go after the last few die hard supporters that Trump had left. So take a look. This is a part of Jimmy Kimmel's monologue from the other night, him going uh, just hardcore against Trump and his low information supporters. Here it is. The venue was only about two thirds full, but those who did show up, all these people are reacting to what sounds like a QAnon song Trump's people played at the rally. They're holding a single finger up. That means one, which is uh, their average IQ, I think. But it's also, <laughs> it's part of the lyrics. To, there's a QAnon theme song and one is part of the song. It would seem that Trump has now fully embraced the lunacy because they're these are the only people who still believe there's a conspiracy against him. Things are getting very crazy out there. Trump did 90 minutes of new material, which included a shout out to one of his biggest, and I mean that literally, fans. Gino DeFabio. Gino DeFabio. Gino, look at him. Look how skinny he is. He lost 150 pounds. What's going on? How do you do it, Gino? How'd you do it? We'll have to tell Oz about you. He'll give me a little, he'll give me a hint. Well, you never look better. You're a handsome man. I wouldn't say he's exactly small, but that's a lot of weight. (laughs) Is that a compliment? You don't look too good, Gino, but you never look better. Trump seems to be unaware of his own girth, right? Over the weekend, he posted this photo. I swear to God, this is real. He posted what seems to be a shot of the former governor of New Jersey. And he wrote Chris Christie and a Roy Rogers at 11 p.m. in the evening trying to console himself. <laughs> he's a terrible person, but sometimes he's funny. You have to admit. Now, I will say I'm not a huge fan of the fat shaming, right? I mean, you know, if you've seen me in person, you probably know why I'm not uh, so cool with that. Although I make fun of myself all the time. Either way, I mean, he's, he's also not wrong. You know, Trump has no business making fun of the way any other human being looks because we've all seen how Trump looks. Admittedly, he's not using the orange tanner as much anymore, it appears. So we get to see his pale, pasty white, wrinkly old face with his sunken in eyeballs. But that's secondary. The main point, of course, that Jimmy Kimmel was getting across there is look at how crazy these supporters are. And of course, how stupid they are by saying that the one finger they're holding up is basically their average IQ. And I don't disagree with him on that whatsoever. Those people holding up those fingers are the same ones who believe that uh, JFK Jr. is somehow going to come back from the grave and run alongside Donald Trump in 2024. They actually have Trump JFK Jr. 2024 yard signs and stickers that they hand out. They have t-shirts made up that say that, uh, the folks from the good liars actually pointed that out. It's been all over their Twitter feed ever since that rally this past weekend. These people legitimately believe it. They waited in Dallas for weeks because they thought JFK jr. Was going to announce himself and announce his support for Trump. These people are absolutely in need of medical attention. They're, They're not normal. They're not right. You know? as we would probably say down here in the South, you know, bless their hearts, but (laughs) you know, not even, not even going to finish it either way. The importance of course, is that Jimmy Kimmel's audience is going to him to be entertained, right? These are not necessarily, as I always point out, people who are consuming political news on a daily basis. These are people who are consuming entertainment on a daily basis. So when Kimmel or when it's Seth Meyers, who also does a phenomenal job of this, they come out and they talk about these things. They point out the stupidity. They point out the craziness of it all. It is reaching an audience that otherwise would not be reached with these people. They probably aren't sitting around all day watching MSNBC and then tuning into Jimmy Kimmel. They're probably not sitting here, subscribed to this channel and then, oh, okay, we're done with Farron. Let's go watch Jimmy Kimmel. 
Some of them may be, I hope so. I'd like to think there's some overlap, maybe. But a lot of these people aren't regular political news consumers. They're tuning into this show to be entertained before they go to bed. And if they can get just a little bit of political news like this, if the light can be shown on how wacky these people who still support Donald Trump are, maybe you can change some minds. Maybe some of these people are middle of the road, right? Maybe they, they're not keeping up with all the Trump news <laughs> that's out there. It's hard to imagine, but folks, there are people that don't keep up with it, that have no idea. That's why it's important that people like Kimmel, people like Seth Meyers, uh, people like Stephen Colbert, it's important that they do these things because not only is it entertaining, but they're also reaching an audience that's not tuning in for political news. And it may just change some minds if that's the people that are paying close enough attention. It's a good thing that this is happening. And I seriously hope that Kimmel keeps it up because he is one of the best out there that does it. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.